You've probably heard of mind over matter. Some doctors believe this could be the key to unleashing your own healing power. How researchers at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles are trying to help the mind-body healing process by using VR or virtual reality. The trial study gives patients VR headsets and immerses them in a world far away from their hospital bed. Full Frame contributor Sandra Hughes gives us an inside look at this innovation in medical research. Sixteen-year-old Jeremiah Guerrero played just about every sport he could growing up. He has a wall of medals to prove how hard he worked, especially at jiu-jitsu. Then an unexplained blood clot landed him at Cedar sinai Hospital in Los Angeles, and the games were over. He's played baseball, basketball, football, and jiu-jitsu since he was five. So he went from all of that to not being able to do anything at all. It was bad enough being in the hospital for this active teen, but the boredom and waiting was the worst. You don't really know what's going to happen. You don't really assume the worst, you just don't know it's possible that the worst is going to come, which you don't really know, to be sure. Doctors at Cedar sinai one of the world's top research hospitals, are in the second phase of a medical trial that explores how virtual reality video can help the young and old who are hospitalized. The first phase studied how to implement the device and who would benefit. It's so weird because like I just got hit, but I don't feel it. <laughs> Jeremiah Guerrero was eager to try out the high-tech device. What are the colors like? The colors are really vivid. Researchers on the trial say the results of pairing patients with virtual reality goggles were so promising they began a second phase of the study to measure the reduction of pain and anxiety. When people use it, for the most part, we've been able to see that it reduces their pain quite considerably. Mm -hmm. So within the course of five minutes, the pain will drop from, on average, uh, about five and a half points to about four points on a ten-point scale. And that's pretty dramatic for not using any narcotics, no medications, no medical intervention, just the experience of being transported away from where you physically are. Showing patients serene landscapes and engaging them in interactive games, this virtual vacation from the hospital is meant to distract the patient's brain. And the idea behind this, it's this idea of the spotlight attention theory. So our minds are only able to take in so much information at once. The rest of our minds, are, they sh it shuts down. And we literally cannot feel pain. It's not just that we're distracted from the pain. Our brains are incapable during that time of feeling pain because we're so immersed in this environment at the same time. It worked for Jeremiah Guerrero. It helps you really get away because you know you're there, you're conscious, but then you're, you're really not looking at yourself there. So you don't, you don't really feel as if you're there, as if you're somewhere else, is how you really feel like. You feel like you're somewhere else? You feel like you're here. You, you know your body's here. So it's like leaving your body but exploring somewhere else, which I think kind of felt funny, but I liked it. Another patient at Cedar sinai Victor Ramirez, was hospitalized for three months while he waited for a new heart. But after the third month, then it's kind of like you miss your family. You want to be home. Family drawings and pictures can only do so much when you're laying in a hospital bed for 90 days in pain. Oh, wow. You can look all around. A waterfall. Oh, yeah, all around. Like a waterfall. Looks like I'm in a helicopter just looking around. Look up. Oh, oh, wow. Ramirez said the virtual reality provided him with a much needed escape. Uh, did it do what it was supposed to yes, do? Yes, for, for, for that time, whatever, like it was three minutes or whatever, it takes you out of your, your current state that you're in. To me, that's soothing, it's relaxing. You didn't think about your aches think, and pains? Aches and, and pains, and the sound of this machine, I didn't hear it. I just blocked everything out, and just I was like on cloud nine. The next step is to get these goggles into as many rooms and to as many patients as possible in the hospital. There are challenges to doing that, like finding a cheaper type of goggle. 
something disposable, or using a patient's own cell phone to play 3D video. But it's a concept that many hospitals could replicate. The idea we're developing is uh, like a virtual reality consult service. I mean, you call in different doctors, I need to see the specialist, I need to see the gastroenterologist or the cardiologist. This is a new specialist, it's the virtualist. And we're developing this idea that we call in the virtualist who prescribes a, uh, a tailored experience depending upon the patient's preferences, their interests, and their medical conditions. And create a tailored experience and then uh, allow the patient to have that at the bedside. Finally, and this may take time, but the team wants to virtually transport a patient to the comforts of home from the confines of the hospital bed. For Jeremiah Guerrero, who has already been released but could be rehospitalized at any time, that would mean seeing his prized jujitsu wall every night. I always want to come home, even when you're like anywhere else. You're like, well, you know, I, can, I want to go home now because like, that's the place you want to go relax. But when you're there, you're there for a reason. So you, you want to come home, you're like, okay, I don't want to come home and have to go back. And with this new technology, the wait till discharge day and the pain may not be quite so excruciating. For Full Frame, this is Sandra Hughes in Los Angeles. Coming up, how innovations in medical research are fighting the globe's next deadly virus.